Yeah, well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. For what purpose? Are you still angry with me because I didn't tell you who I was when we first met? I'm angry at you for telling the judge Truman was insane. Okay, fine. You know what? You, you could be angry with me, but would you let a felon walk the streets? You know, some lady is a cop. I don't have the luxury of playing hypothetical games with people's lives. This is about justice for all. Mm -hmm. Right. Who's justice? <laughs> you know, you don't have much respect for me, do you? As a shrink? No. But I do owe you, you know. You stopped me from killing Truman and you kept your mouth shut. For that, I'll always be grateful. Well, like I told you, it was because of the drugs. You, uh, the medication you were taking and then the heavy doses, taking yourself off cold turkey. You were just as mentally unstable as Spencer was. Oh, no, I wanted him dead. I still do. Hmm. Well, I think you're going to have to get in line. Did you tell Natalie? Things in this room, and yeah. But your involvement, no. Why not? When it comes to this, I'm not so sure I can trust her anymore. You think that she'd be angry enough with you that she would go tell someone, tell Bo? They put it this way you don't get me out of there when you do, who knows where I'd be right now. So, like it or not, I owe you. Jessica! Jessica, it's Nash. I gotta talk to you. Oh, Jessica's in here, man. What do you want to talk to her about? Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. Oh, you look fantastic. I knew you would as soon as I saw that dress. Hey, you. Look at you. Thank wow. You. It was really fun shopping together, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice to have something good to shop for, too. Yeah, what anniversary is this of Grandpa and Renee's? The <laughs> first, the second, the third? Who's counting? It's a good excuse to get the family together, that's yeah. all. Hey, what'd you do today? Oh, I went to the spa with Natalie. Oh, that's right. You were getting a massage, right? Uh-huh. That bad? No, no, it was fine. It was fine. What's wrong? It's nothing. <laughs> okay, your nothing is awfully full of something. What happened? Nash kissed me. Yeah? And I kissed him back. Something wrong? Uh, no. Well, then why were you beating down my door? You know, I shouldn't have had that last espresso. M Mike here? Yeah. Something you want to tell me, though? Another one? Give me. I love what he's having. I never imagined you a whiskey guy. It's just one more thing we have in common. That's the other thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Wait, do you see what I got you? You know that little talking teddy bear you love so much from the TV? Yeah, well, I got it for you. You know, um, mm -hmm. Jess isn't here. Um, what do you want to ask her? Oh, um, I, I, I came by. I need to talk to her about my schedule with Brie for next week. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we're going to Ace on Renee's anniversary, so she should be here any second if you'd like to wait. So you and Nash kissed. How could I have done that? I mean, I married Antonio. I love him. Do you think that Tess is coming back? Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe. So I wanted to talk to you about it because you've been integrated longer than I have and Nikki's still a part of you as Tess is with me and they're both a lot alike. Oh, you mean promiscuous? Yeah. Do you, do you think that could be it? No, of course I couldn't have, because Tess never cheated on Nash after they were together, and... Oh, this can't happen again. I can't let this happen. So you're worried that this is going to go further? Do you want to sleep with Nash? Yeah, I am, and it scares the you-know-what out of me. But why, why are you looking at me like that? Well, honey, I'm wondering. Are you afraid that Tess is coming back, or are you concerned that the person who wants to sleep with Nash is you, Jessica? What would I have to tell you? Whatever it is you were going to tell Michael. You know, you can tell me. It's not like we keep secrets. You know, I can uh, leave him a message if you want. Uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll catch him later. Are you sure? I mean, you know, I can just, I can call him on the cell phone. Uh, he's probably just on his way home. You can wait here. I can't stay anyway. But you came here to see him, so weren't you going to plan on staying? Well, yeah, but I, I kind of... You are a bad, bad liar. You do know that, right? So what's going on? And you better tell me the truth or I will get it out of Michael. Uh, okay. But you're not going to like it. The only thing I can think of that we have in common is our hatred for Spencer Truman. That's not the only thing. That's enough for me. Oh, hey, by the way, thanks for all your help with Blair. Oh, you want. Hey, Billy. Put that on my bill, will you? Yeah. Where have you been hiding? Uh, usual places. Yeah? I heard about Blair. You must be so happy and relieved. Uh, relieved, I'm, yes. Happy, not so much. Yeah, you don't owe me anything. Mm-mm. But, uh, what about Natalie? What about Natalie? Don't you think you owe it to her, to be honest? Seems the less I tell her about this. Is this about Tommy? Oh my God, that's it, isn't it? I is there something wrong with the adoption? Do, do his parents want him back? Is that it? No, Marcy, I did not come here to tell Michael that. Oh. Well, then what? Rex, what? It's like this. We had a bet on one of the Sixers games last week, and Mike owes me 20 bucks. That's it? You came all the way here to tell me that he owes you 20 bucks? Well, that, it's not really a big deal, Rex. I'll just give you the money. No, no, here, no, for, for, forget it. That's what I came here to tell him. To take the 20 and put it towards my godson's college fund. <laughs> you sure about that? It's a good cause. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. Bye. Oh, okay. Peace out, dude. Thank you. So I asked Blair to marry me. Great news. Great. Yeah, tear me down. Pat, I'm sorry. You know she just needs time. <laughs> she needs forever. Apparently. She said she never wants to marry me ever again. I don't understand. 
You, me, the rest of civilization. But she's made up her mind. Well, if memory serves me correctly, you said the same thing not so long ago. So, she didn't give up on you, and you can't give up on her. Yeah, I've been giving that speech from everybody. Then listen to everybody. Why? I know her better than anyone. I thought that... I thought that maybe if I found my son and brought him back, that that would do it. That would bring us back together. But, you know, not, not, to, not to replace the baby we lost, but just to, I don't know, make a family. Blair's such a good mom. And, of course, Star and Jacket have a little, little half-brother running around. Because the only thing Blair and I never screwed up was our kids. Well, you know, this is a huge loss. And you said it yourself, you can't replace one baby with another. Well, it doesn't make any difference. I can't find him. Let's talk about something else. How are you? I've been better. What's up? I'm worried about Christian. Well, you do like men who are projects. Are you going to listen to me or are you going to be a smart ass? What's going on? The police have accused him of arson. Yeah, I know. I had somebody from the paper there covering the press conference. But it's a waste of ink, man. I mean... I'm no fan of Christian, but he's no arson. I know. But the police think he might be. Even Antonio? Well, Antonio's been taken off the case, and so have I. That's a smart move by Bo. So how's the case against him? Is it good? So far, they have motive, opportunity, and physical evidence. I really want to help him, but I'm running out of ideas. Hello? Hi. Come on. My wife hasn't gotten there yet. Hmm. No, no, no worries. I uh, I will be there in a, in a jiffy to pick it up. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Yum, yum, yum. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, we left Asa and Renee's gift to be engraved. Jessica was supposed to pick it up, but uh, I guess she forgot. Well, um, if you want me to watch Bree while you go off to pick it up. Oh, you wouldn't mind? No. Oh, not at all. All right. Um, you know, we were supposed to take Bree over to my mom's, actually. Um, Jamie's already there. If you, uh, if you wouldn't mind, you know, watching her, you could stay with her here. Don't ask me twice. That's awesome. And then I'll, uh, I'll pick something up for you at the... No, that's all right. Trust me, you'll thank me later. The fridge is empty. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of this great stuff in there. Look, uh, I know that, um... You and Jessica have had some issues lately, but uh, things will work themselves out. One way or another. Well, we're friends. And who'd have thunk that? And it'll happen for you and Jessica, too. I love Antonio with all of my heart. Yeah? But I feel something. I feel this pull towards Nash. Well, honey, he, he's the father of your daughter. And obviously you two share a lot of memories from when you were Tess. Oh, I hate her sometimes for making me feel this way. Yeah, I understand that. What am I going to do? I mean, one second Nash and I are constantly fighting, and then the next second I am letting him kiss me. I mean, I didn't fight him. I didn't push him away. How could I have done that? Are, are you sure it was you and not some residual test? Do you think that could be it? I don't know, sweetheart. When you asked me about Nikki before, and frankly, I could generally tell the difference between Nikki's feelings and mine. Uh, I know. It just happened so fast. It was confusing. It is very, very confusing. Hey, the thing is, you're married now. You know, you made a commitment to Antonio and to Jamie. They are your family. And I think you have to think long and hard before you do anything to jeopardize that, unless you think that you made a mistake in getting married. No, no, I didn't. I love Antonio. And he, he can't find out about this because I, I can't lose him. Then then don't let it happen. How? Look, whatever these feelings are that you have for Nash, whether they're yours or Tess's, you have to fight them. Well, it's hard. He's always around because of Bree. I know that, but you can do it. You really think so? I know you can, honey. 
And I'll tell you why. You are in control now. The only way Tess is coming back is if you allow it. I won't. I can't. Good. Then you can do it. Thanks, Mom. I want to hug you, but I'm sick. I feel better, and I'll see you later. Okay. I'll leave you to get ready. Okay, baby. Thanks again. Okay. Okay. This is not good. Cole, we were supposed to meet at the community center, but you never showed. Yeah, sorry. I left you a message. You didn't get it? No. Why? What's up? Well, there's something I needed to do. Here in the hospital? Is, was it something with your steroids? Is everything no, okay? No, no. That's not it. I just need to warn Spencer Troom never to mess with my mom again. Are you crazy? You can't do that. Shh. <laughs> Just a little something to help you relax, okay? You seem a little nervous. Come on, man. I need you to be calm, Blair. Okay? I need you to be calm. Understand? That's good. That's better. Because you'll realize once I'm finished that this is better for the both of us. I'm going to remove my hand and you're not going to scream, okay? Because if someone hears you and if someone disturbs us, then I'm going to have to hurt them. And you don't want me to hurt anyone, do you, baby? Oh. Oh, what do you want? Just what I've always wanted. You. Antonio? What are you doing here? I just put Bree down to sleep. Oh, where's Antonio? Oh, he went out to pick up a present for Ace's party tonight. Yeah, I forgot. I don't know where my head's been lately. I think we both know where your head's been. In that kiss. So. So. Police found a can of turpentine and fireproof gloves in Christian's apartment. It's all circumstantial. Right. Hmm. But he did have an Instagram with Jones, didn't he? Yeah, but he's not the only one. And he had a laptop with the floor plans of Jones's apartments, right? Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. But I think you're nervous because you're a lawyer and you know how bad all this looks. And I know that Christian isn't capable of this. And I know he wouldn't be stupid enough to strike again so soon when he knows he's already a suspect. Stupid or psychotic? It doesn't matter because he's neither. It's just your opinion, though, isn't it? Well, you don't even like him, and you said it yourself. He is no arsonist. You really want to help him? Of course. Let's stop acting like his girlfriend and start thinking like his lawyer. Why don't you hire some, uh, some fledgling defense attorney and, and uh, Pull his or her strings. Run Christian's defense from behind the scenes. If you do that, man, you're uh, you're unstoppable. Take it from me. Wow. That might be the smartest thing you've ever said to me. Well, I am a smart ass. <laughs> Say. Hey, um, sorry to interrupt. There's something I need to say to you, and I can't wait. So why do you feel you can't trust Natalie? I say I want your sessions, Doc. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, occupational hazard. Well, at least you know everything you say to me will be kept confidential. If you're my doctor. Hmm. Yes, Natalie told me you already had one. Yeah, it was a while ago she... She said that she told you I needed a doctor now. It's not what I meant. Well, I just think she wanted me to back off. Yeah, that's what you told me. Look, John, I know we don't know each other very well, but whether it's doctor patient privileged or not, you can trust me. And I wouldn't repeat anything you said. No, look, I don't know if I trust you either. If you want to stay on my good side, don't be like Natalie and do the exact opposite of everything I ask. 
Look, he's asleep. I can sneak in and out, and no, I don't know. Oh, please, don't do this, okay? You know how dangerous Dr. Truman is. He was with a guard last time, and he ended up pointing a gun to your mom. Star, up. don't try to stop me, okay? Okay, fine. I won't. Because I'm going in there with you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> try to stop me, and I'll wake up the guard. I've got everything I need right here. What? <laughs> To make this a night that you are never going to forget. So what's so important? Alone. Yeah. I'm in the middle of a conversation here. No, no, that's okay. I need to check and see if Christian left me a message anyway. It's fine. All right, spit it up. Uh, am I too late? Too late for what? To buy you a drink to celebrate Blair pulling through. No, oh, man. This cat wants to tell me something, and obviously very important. I'm getting curious. What is Yeah, I need to talk to you, too. Michael, about Tommy? Tommy. <sighs> yeah, your son? My godson? Hey, hey, hey. I was here first. Let's go. I, um, I just wanted to say how happy I am that, uh, Blair's pulled through. And I wanted to offer my sincere apology that I wasn't able to do something more for her sooner. That's all? That's it. What's the verdict? Uh, he stood you up, didn't he? No, he must. He's probably just. He's running late. No mess. Stop it. Actually, I was just about to tell you that you shouldn't give up on it. Well, are you going to take the same advice from me? If I do, will you get off my back about it? Never. You can't tell Todd about Tommy. Tommy is Todd's son. He's your son, Michael. Yours and Marcy's. No one, not anyone, needs to know any different. Let me get a burger that works, large fries to go. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks. How are you holding up? Hey. Uh, well, probably about as well as you are. Christian's in a tough spot, even though he's innocent. You know, he's supposed to meet me here, and, and well, I guess he's he's late. I mean, he's uh, trying to clear his name. You know, if this was my case, I would be confident that I had enough to take to the grand jury. Well, he's being set up, maybe even by Jones. Even though I'm officially off the case, I'm keeping my eye on it. Well, can you keep your eye on your friend, Officer Saeed? Look, she's a good cop. She's not going to railroad him if he's innocent. If Antonio, he is innocent. Evangeline, like I told you, you and I both know that, all right? But we still have to prove it. That kiss meant nothing, and you know it. So you keep telling me. Oh, look, I mean it. I don't even want to think about that happening again. Mm -hmm. Tess is gone. Mm -hmm. I know I was acting like Tess. I came into the steam room. I took my towel off. And I know it must have been confusing for you, but I only did that because... Because you thought I was Antonio. Right, exactly. But when we kissed, you didn't think I was Antonio, just like I didn't think you were Tess. That kiss was all about Jessica and Nash. It can't happen yet. Right. But it did. Why? I've been asking myself that same question. Hmm. I asked my mom about it. Let, let, let me guess. She, she thought that it was leftover test feelings. Not exactly. She said that I should be able to tell the difference between Tess's feelings and my own. Can you? All right, truth time. When you kissed me, was it the Tess part or the Jessica part that wanted to kiss me? Natalie knew I was hell to live with. Yes, and she loves you anyway. <sighs> she wants me to change. She said that? She made it clear enough. Okay. 
And that would be hard because you're so perfect? No. Look, I, I know I'm a mess. I'd like to be better, but change altogether, I, I don't know that I can. Or want to. I don't need people telling me what to do, trying to save me from myself. Are we talking about something specific here? I'm talking about a lot of things. Well, would you care to elaborate on one of those things? Hey, don't analyze me. Don't deflect, okay? Why are you so defensive? What do you want to know? I want a simple answer from you. What? Natalie drugged my food? Is that what you want to hear? <sighs> what have you got? What are you going to do to these things? I have dreamt about this day. You don't even know what I'm talking about. After all the things that we discussed when you came to see me, Blair. I came to see you. In my room. Don't tell me you've forgotten, baby. No, no I know. I, I remember, yeah. Yeah, it was so special, wasn't it? Oh, baby, it was so, so good. Well, I may be a team again, but that was just the beginning. Now that I'm a free man, I'm going to finally be able to make all of our dreams come true. Hey, Christian, it's me. Again. I'm still here at Rhodey's, just waiting, and I'm hoping everything is okay. So, I guess I'll see you when you get here. How can I keep it a secret? Spencer knows. He'll tell, he'll tell just to screw me over, okay? And I don't know what I would do if Marcy and I lost Tommy. You won't. But Spencer isn't going to say anything. As much as he hates you, he hates Todd a lot more. He would do anything to keep Todd's kid away from him. Yeah, but I... No, no, no buts. Just go home. Be with your wife and son. Forget Spencer and be happy. How can I do that with what I know? Look at Tommy in Marcy's arms and know how happy he is. Would he be that way with Todd? Still, you need to do what's best for Tommy, Mike, and that's being with you and Marcy. Now go, let me handle it. When you made me Tommy's godfather, I promised to take care of him. Let me do my job. Come on, you felt something when you kissed me, didn't you? And it wasn't Tess. Okay, okay, it was me. Are you happy? Uh, I, I felt something when you kissed me, something I don't ever want to feel again. Look, I'm sorry. No, 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 I am. Um, I really had to know that. And now that you do? Well, I think we both know what we do now. Right. Never let happen again. Exactly. What happened in the steam room stays in the steam room. I wouldn't want to come between you and Antonio. You couldn't. Because he's a good guy. The best. Been a best friend to me. He's been an amazing husband. I love every part of him. As you should. Great. Good. So, now that we've talked about it, we don't ever have to bring it up again. Exactly. Am I interrupting something? What if he wakes up? the guard. Well, if 
he wakes up, then he most likely won't check the room. And if he does, I mean, he's not going to admit to it. So then let's get past him. Hey, wake up, dirt bag. I've got some stuff to say to you. Did you hear him? I said, wake up. Well, maybe they gave him something to knock him out. No, 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 no. No, that SOB's faking it. Did you hear me? I said, wake up, Truman. You see, my love, I heard the talk. I was going to ask you to marry him. How? Did you hear that? The well, star told me. And Todd told me. And they were just both so damn smug about it. <sighs> Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm going to show them. I'll protect you. Don't hurt Star. Uh, physically, anyway. But emotionally, I mean, they're going to get what's coming to them. Trying to keep us apart like that. That's why we have to hurry. Hurry? So I can't marry you. We find you first. Hey, you. Me? Oh, Blair, yes, yes, I'll marry you. The happiest day of my life. Oh, my God, yes, I'll marry you. Right here, right now, today. Oh, we have to get you ready. No, sir, no. No, I was uh, just telling Jessica that you asked me to take care of Bree while you guys go off to the party. Oh, cool. Is that okay with you? Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to spend as much time with Bree as he wants. Oh, have I told you how beautiful you look? You look pretty hot, so. Oh. Yum. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Nash? Food. Thank you. All right, get out of here, you crazy kids. Go have a good time. All right, let's not forget the present. Uh, sorry, I forgot. No, baby. I can't believe Natalie would do that. I mean, drug you without your consent? Despite my food and sedatives. Why would she? I don't know. You know, maybe because I wouldn't take them myself. Well, obviously she was just trying to help. Hey, you know, just forget I said anything, all right? You know what I need right now? I need a little trust. That's it. From, from her, from you, from everyone. I don't know if it's just because I've been cooped up here so long. I'm getting a little paranoid, but I don't think I'm getting any of that. And this is all Natalie's fault. I know I can be a real bastard. Sometimes, most of the time, I don't even like me. So, no, I'm not blaming all my problems on Natalie. Problems? I thought I could change, you know, and be the kind of man she wants me to be, the kind of man that she deserves. Can't you? I don't know. Look, Truman needs to pay for killing my old man. And that probably won't happen until Truman's dead himself. The truth is, nothing's going to make me happy until he is. Not even Natalie? I'm not going to answer that. I don't try little feeties, I'm eating them. Oh, hey honey. Hey look, daddy's home. Yeah, say hello. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Rex called looking for you. Actually, he came by. Uh, he said something about um, you betting on a game with him. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. Oh, I, I don't care. You're allowed. <laughs> Michael. Hey. Something wrong? You look, kind of look like you lost your best friend. I just need a hug from my son. One more ice cream, Dad. It's Daddy. <laughs> Cole, something's wrong. We should get the guard. No, hold on. damage has
has been done already. The only way that we can survive is apart. And what if I make things worse? Spencer outlives you, huh? Who says Spencer will outlive me? Cole, where's Spencer? You. 